So I'm going to take the stage here next. My name is Susan Promise, and I'm going to take a little bit different journey than what we just heard. When I was asked to participate in this panel, what I was told was, what we want you to do is talk about the most important lesson I learned in my career. That's what we were asked to talk to the group about. So I think what I would like to do is share a little bit about my career. And I have to admit, there have been lots of lessons. So I think as I went on that journey, many different um, things came to pass. So I am currently the chair of emergency medicine at Penn State. Um, I've been lucky to start two emergency medicine residency programs. Um, and then most recently, was able to be the initial editor of the new journal for SAM, Academic Emergency Medicine, Education and Training. So as I went on that journey, there were many lessons I have learned in my career. And I would say probably one of the most impressive ones for me was really being willing to take risk. It's okay to venture out a little bit to the unknown, and it may feel unsettling, but sometimes that's how you grow. You need to stretch and kind of move forward. I was very comfortable in my career. When I finished residency, I stayed at the program that I had trained at. And I was pretty sure that's where I was going to spend the rest of my career. I was back in the Bay Area in California where my family was. And one day I got a phone call. That phone call was from a colleague that I'd work with um, in a professional society at Cal ASAP. So get involved in those professional societies. And she called me and said, hey, Susan, we're going to start a residency program at Duke. How would you like to come out and interview for that job? Well, I ended up at Duke. I spent six years there developing a residency program that opened lots of other opportunities. There are people that I'm that sitting with, Judy and I, really developed a relationship when I moved to North Carolina. And those networks are also important. So another really important lesson that I've learned in my career is keeping those networks open, meeting people, staying engaged with them. And as everyone tells you, don't burn bridges, it's true. It's a very small community in emergency medicine. We all know one another. So think about that as you kind of move on. So then the next opportunity that presented to me was yet another chance. And that was um, I got another phone call, again, through networking. And what I learned from that phone call was all the relationships I had in California they thought of me again when there was another job opportunity. So I was able to go to California to start an emergency medicine residency program. Again, networking, very important, and not burning bridges. When you leave a place, you've got to keep those things moving forward. The other thing that stands out to me is through all of this, you really have to make time for yourself. Your career is going to happen. We're all doctors. We work hard at what we do. But you've got to stay true to the things that are really important to you. So family, friends, whatever those people are, make sure you spend time with them. You need that time to recharge and enrich yourself. I mean, work is there. It will come and go. But family and friends are really important. So making time for them as you kind of grow professionally really makes a difference. So I'm back in California starting another emergency medicine residency program, which I loved. It was great. And then another opportunity came up. One of my colleagues said, hey, Susan, I know you're looking for something else in your career. You know, there's a chair position open. Didn't you go to, you know, medical school at Penn State? And I'm like, yeah, well, they're looking for a chair. So I wasn't necessarily looking to go back to Penn State. I loved California. But that gave me another opportunity to grow, again, taking a risk. You know, my family, friends were in California. But you got to take those risks to move ahead and grow. And maybe it's a risk within your own institution. But taking risks, I think, are very important. you got to stretch yourself. So now I'm um, at Penn State, where I'm the chair of emergency medicine. And trust me, I've had many, many challenges in my career at this point. But I'm loving what I do. And in the middle of that, I get another phone call. Hey, Susan, we're starting a new journal for SAM, you know, and your passion has been education and training. How would you like to help get that journal off the ground? And the way that happened, again, was being involved in professional societies, networking, and really working hard at what you do and just do the best that you possibly can. My final kind of comment as far as the most important lesson to me is really that perfect is the enemy of good. 
So it is better to just get something out there, get feedback on it, than having to be perfect. When I was early in my career, I wanted it to be just right. Like, you know, I, I'm proud about what I do. I think we all are, right? You don't get into medicine without working hard and doing the best that you can. But when it comes to moving forward, sometimes you can be your own detriment by having to like go back over things over and over again. Give it your best shot and okay to put it out there and get feedback. And I learned that a lot and it gets reinforced, especially with the journal, right? Things go out for peer review. You get comments, comes back to you, and then you make it better. Um, that's life. It's not perfect. Sometimes you take a circuitous route getting there, but you got to put yourself out there um, to really move forward and grow. And, you know, be resilient. We're not going to be perfect. Um, and that's okay not to be perfect. Sometimes we're our own worst enemies when it comes to things like that. So I've shared many different pearls, but really I think the biggest one for me is the fact about perfect is really the enemy of good. Just get out there and do it. We all have it in us. Um, just keep pushing yourself forward. And I have to say, like, I, don't, I can't believe that I'm on the panel with these people because I look up to all of them. Like, I'm like, wow, I'm really lucky. There are lots of wonderful people in our specialty. Take time to meet them, learn from them, because people are very gracious of their time and talents. Almost everyone. I'd be shocked if they weren't willing to share their stories or how they got there. So thanks for all of you for being here, too. I hope you find this helpful.